Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Last video, two problems we have completed on computation of income from house property. In this video, third and fourth problem I'm going to continue. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command. And don't skip in between. Every problem will come across a new point. So always keep a notebook ready to note down what are the new points we are coming up in every problem. So before uh, starting the next problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take a screenshot of the solution of third and fourth problem. Then I'll explain all the points in detail. See the problem number three. Sri Sunil Kumar, a senior citizen, owns a house in Chennai. It has been let out on a monthly rent of 10,500 and 2,000 per month towards service charges. Now see carefully. The SSE owner of the house is Sunil Kumar. He has let out the property on a monthly rent. The actual rental value is 10,500. But apart from actual rent, the owner is also charging 2000 rupees extra for services provided. So here you can see two different amounts. One rent of the building, the other is service charges. So income tax act says the rent received 10,500 is considered while computing income from house property. Whereas the service charges received 2000 rupees is taxable under income from other sources. Both are separate. <clears throat> house property, the rent received will be taxable under income from house property. Service charges received, taxable under income from other sources. Municipal rental value, MRV 7,500 per month. Rent of similar house, this is FRV, 10,000 per month. Standard rent, 8,400 per month. The house is covered under Rent Control Act. That's why standard rent is given. So in the three steps, we calculate the GAV. The uh, owner incurs the following expenses. Local taxes. Local taxes means municipal, ta municipal taxes. Allowed. Lift maintenance, water charges. This lift maintenance and water charges are the services given by the owner to the tenant. So while computing the income from other sources, we will take how much amount is charging from the tenant 2000 per month. 2000 per month the owner is charging from the tenant. The 2000 into 12, 24,000 rupees are charged as service charges. From that 24,000, how much expenditure incurred by the landlord, by the owner? He is incurring lift maintenance 6200, water charges 2000. So 6200 plus 2000, 8200 will be deducted. So out of 24,000, you can see here, service charges. Service charges are separately received. So it is taxable under income from other sources. So how it is shown income from other sources? Service charges received 2,000 per month into 12, 24,000. From this, the expenditure incurred on providing the services. What are the services? Lift maintenance and the second one is water charges. So lift maintenance 6200, water charges 2000, 8200 deducted. So 24000 minus 8200, 15800. This is the taxable amount under income from other sources. Now repairs ignore. Interest uh, paid on loan taken to construct the house allowed as deduction 9600 given but including the penal interest of 1000 remember already I told you in the theory video the penal interest will not be allowed. What is penal interest? Interest on interest. Interest on interest is called penal interest. So out of 9600 only 8600 will be allowed. Compute the income from house property that's it. So Sri Sunil Kumar, computation of income from house property for the assessment year 21-22, gross annual value 1,26,000. How we got? See here. The house is covered under Rent Control Act, so GAV is calculated in the following steps. ERV, expected rental value, is higher of the following two. MRV, FRV. 
MRV 7500 per month given so into 12 90,000 FRV 10,000 given in the problem 1,20,000 higher is 1,20,000 ERV we got adjusted ERV is lower of the following two first we take ERV <clears throat> ERV 1,20,000 don't take adjusted ERV it is ERV ERV is 1,20,000 already we have calculated 1,20,000 SRV is given in the problem standard range 8,400 into 12 1,800,000 whichever is lower is the adjusted ERV so 1,800,000 is adjusted ERV now GAV is higher of the following two higher of the following two Adjusted ERV 1,800 or ARV actual rental value 10,500 into 12 1,26,000 What is the higher in this two? 1,26,000 is the higher So this is the GM From this local taxes Local taxes or municipal taxes means same 12,960 deduct net annual value Then standard deduction 30% of NAV 30% of 130,040 33,912 Interest on load taken to construct the house 9600 is the interest in which 1000 penal interest deduct penal interest 8600 take the total 42512 deduct 113040 minus 42512 70528 is the income from house property that's it this is the end of problem number 3 now see the problem number 4 from the following particulars given below, compute the income from house property for the current assessment year of Srimati Manisha. So here again, I have prepared here, Srimati Manisha computation of income from house property, same format, no change. Now, uh, municipal value, the municipal value means MRV, municipal rental value. Then rent received 55,000, due 5,000. Actually rent received will not be taken rental value will be taken so this 5000 will be added 55000 plus 5000 60000 rupees is the annual rental value arv date of completion of construction 31st august 2020 our current previous year is 2021 2021 is the current previous year 21 22 is the assessment year right so during the current previous year, the house was completed, construction was completed, 31st August 2020. Land revenue, ignore, we don't require. Municipal taxes, 10% is given. Amount is not given, percentage is given. So percentage, this 10% will be calculated on MRV. Municipal taxes will be calculated on municipal rental value. So municipal rental value is 30,000. 10% of 30,000, 3,000 rupees is the municipal taxes. Fair rental value, FRV, 72,000. Nature of use, let out for commercial purpose, no difference. Income tax act has not made any difference between letting out for commercial or letting out for residential. Then repairs, ignore. Ground rent, ignore. Cost of facilities provided to the tenant, 4,600. The uh, owner is not charging anything separately for service charges. Simply services are given. So this deduction will not be given for 4,600. Note, municipal taxes and repair expenses are paid by tenant. New point. Municipal taxes will be allowed as a deduction only if it is paid by the owner. If the agreement says that municipal taxes are paid by tenant, then it will not be allowed as a deduction. So first time we are coming across where municipal taxes not allowed, municipal taxes dash because it is paid by the tenant. Then repair also, repair ignore whether repairs are paid by the owner or repairs are paid by the tenant, ignore completely always. The house is constructed by taking a loan of rupees 5 lakh at 15% on 1st November 2018. And no amount of principal is repaid so far. Interest is paid as and when it is due. The new point, the difficult point in this problem is regarding this. Interest before construction period. Actually, loan is taken on 1st November 2018. 2018. Whereas construction was completed on 31st August 2020. So we have to find out how much is the total interest. 
from the from the date of loan taken and the date of construction actually according to the provisions of income tax act the interest to be calculated on 31st march before the date of construction completed construction completed on 31st august 2020 so before 31st august 2020 31st march 2020 so we have to calculate the interest from 1st november 2018 to 31st march 2020 not 31st august 2020 kyunki provision hai there is a provision in income tax act that interest has to be calculated up to 31st march before the date of construction before the date of construction that's it so that is only the new point in this problem see that so this is the format municipal taxes are not allowed as deduction as it is agreed to be paid by the tenant first working note in examination working notes are compulsory whatever how how i am presenting the solution on the board exactly same way you have to present it in examination now gav is higher of the following three mrv frv arv directly because srv is not given rent the house is not governed by rent control act so directly three act so higher is 72 72000 gav municipal taxes nil nav is 72000 30% standard deduction 30% of 72000 21600 now interest on loan taken to purchase not to purchase but to construct the house to construct the house right 96250 how we got this 92250 i am showing here interest on loan see carefully actually loan amount 5 lakh and rate of interest 15% so 5 lakh into 15% 72 75000 is one years interest current years interest current previous years interest is 75000 current previous year now interest paid before the date of construction now carefully you see here before the date of construction so actually date of completion of construction is 31st august 2020 but before 31st august we have to calculate up to 31st march provision is there in income tax act don't calculate up to the date of construction but before the date of construction what is 31st march that only we have to calculate so 31st march 2020 so loan taken on 1st november 2018 1st november 2018 so we need interest from 1st 11 2018 to 31st august 31st october sorry because one year interest we have to calculate one year interest we have to calculate from 1st november 2018 to 31st october 2019 exactly one year for one year interest 5 lakh into 15% 75000 now next year we'll start from 111 2019 we have calculated up to 31st august 20, uh, sorry 31st october 2019 the next day is 1st november 2019 to 31st march 2020 so now calculate how many months november 1st november 2019 so november december january february march 5 months so we require the interest for 5 months so 5 lakh into 15% into 5 by 12 you will get 31250 is the interest now take the total 75000 plus 31250 16250 is the total interest prior to construction prior to construction 16250 according to the provisions of income tax act the prior period construction uh, prior construction interest that will be allowed as deduction in five annual equal installments from the date of construction from the year in which construction is completed the construction year is completed in 2021 2021 from this year onwards 1/5th will be deducted so 1,6000 this interest will be allowed as deduction in five equal installments so 1,6250 divided by 5 you will get 21250 this 21250 is the prior period constr prior construction period interest prior construction period interest 
so 21 to 50 is the current year prior and current years uh, deduction is 75,000 current years interest is 75,000 therefore interest on loan allowed as deduction for the current previous year is 75,000 is the current year and 21 to 50 is the prior construction period interest prior pre-construction period interest so total interest allowed is 96,250 96,250 is the total interest allowed so 21,600 plus 96,250 the total come to 1,17,850 now deduct 72,000 minus 1,17,850 you will get minus 45,850 the resulting figure the ultimate figure is negative that means there is loss from house property there is no profit if there is profit you will get uh, profit from house income from house property but there is no positive there is negative deduction is more than NAV NAV is less deductions are more so negative loss from house property 45,850 that's it now land revenue repair and ground rent are not allowed as deduction cost of facilities provided to the tenant is not allowed as deduction that working note you should show it so only point you have to remember is prior period interest prior to construction period interest right loan is taken on 1st November 2018 and the date of construction is 31st August 2020 so before 31st August 2020 31st March 2020 we have to calculate so from 1 11 2018 to 31st March 2020 we have to find out the interest so one year 1st November 2018 to 31st October 2019 one year 12 months 12 months interest 75 then next year will start from 1st November 2019 to 31st March 2020 five months period five months interest 31,250 total interest 1 lakh 6,250 this 1,6250 will be divided equally in 5 installments so divide by 5 21,250 now add 96,250 that's all so in this video I have completed the third and the fourth problem inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video